YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about the piece you are viewing here. This piece is a bit difficult for me. It's a project that I'm doing for a while now and it enhanced in the couple of few days. Part of it is a big part of my personality and I wanted to share it with you viewers. First, I will be saying that I'm using the Artex Gouache, a light brush, and my Nostalgia sketchbook. I will be talking about this piece and calling it beading. Basically, it's a whole process for me thinking about myself and how I beat myself when, I, when I'm in my mind, when I'm insecure. This whole piece is me doing it to myself, beating myself. It occurred to me on a few days where I overloaded myself. I had an exhibition, I was organizing an exhibition for my whole class and I was finding myself hard on myself. I was beating myself over things that I shouldn't have been beating myself on. Things that are not necessarily my problem or my issue or my fault and I've been finding myself saying to myself you are at the blame you shouldn't have done that or just blaming myself so I've decided to do this piece it's a whole project so this is the first sketch of actually this whole project so this whole project is going to be probably three prints around 70 on 70 on size and this is just a small sketch that became a painting. I was thinking that this piece is not necessarily YouTube material. I don't know if people on YouTube enjoy things that, in my opinion, are more broad or contemporary art-like. I don't really know if people are into this kind of art on YouTube, and I was thinking to myself, this is a big part of myself and I want to reveal it on my channel. If I don't reveal it on my channel, I'll be not satisfied with my YouTube channel. And I do want to be satisfied with what I create in any level. So if sometimes I create portraits, and that's what I like to do, just a small practice. And sometimes I create a more meaningful pieces that reflect my own personality or things that are reflected on my life or has influenced my life in one way or another. Starting this piece, I was very frustrated. It was late night and I had a bad day and I was feeling, hey, I just want to do a portrait of myself, a portrait of my face squished and it didn't work and I erased it and tried to think of different ways to draw myself and in the end, I settled on the small portrait on the left. This portrait 
I didn't like it at first at the same night and then I went and slept over it and in the morning I woke up and I found myself actually kind of liking it, thinking to myself, hey, this is not as bad as you think and you can improve it and not necessarily throw it away. So I've decided that moment that I'm developing this idea of me hating my art or me beating myself over things and blaming myself and making it the piece of itself. Um, the second one, I took a reference picture from a video game and I put my hair, the style of how I usually draw my hair, on it so it looks like I am beating. I'm not really sure if I like this piece at whole. I'm hoping that I won't have doubts with my art soon, but I guess that it's part of being a human that does art. I don't know if to call myself an artist, but it's part of being a person to doubt yourself and the things you're doing. And I shouldn't tell myself that it's not okay to doubt myself, because it is a part of being a human being. So I was seeing in the comments that a girl said she has this gouache and she wants to improve or maybe see more techniques and at least I can say how I'm using it. I know this gouache first of all is streaky. It's streaky and it's not consistent. It really bothered me at first. I use this gouache in a few techniques. First I do a light wash with very thin diluted gouache. Afterwards, I try using the streakiness to my advantage. If my paint is streaky, so I'm going to make my painting streaky. Using the streakiness as part of my handwriting and drawing. I try not using chunks of paint, though I kind of use chunks of paint and <laughs> It's not necessarily what I should do. And I try not to overwork the paint. You see on the second painting, on the back hand that I'm holding the bottle, you'll see that I really worked on it. I really overworked on it. And it became very muddy. And on the contrast, on the face, I didn't overwork it. And the last thing I want to say that I keep the light colors at first. I use the light colors at first and then I use the dark tones. I think that's the way I use these paints. I think that other paints are kind of easier to use, less cheaper paints like the Winsor & Newton gouache or the Holbein gouache, but these paints, you can use them for anything and them being hard is actually a good practice for me to develop my style of art or just practice a lot. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not usually what I'm doing. It's not a very pretty style of art that reflects my hard feelings. Have a nice day and a brilliant week.